It was a day of defeats for Joe Biden. Firstly, when the Supreme Court blocked his push to effectively force large companies to oblige employees to get their jabs. COVID-19 cases have been skyrocketing to record levels due to the Omicron variant, while vaccination levels have plateaued, with just 62 percent of Americans having all their required shots. I know we're all frustrated as we enter this new year. Omicron variant is causing millions of cases and record hospitalizations. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. As a result, they're crowding our hospitals, leaving little room for anyone else who might have a heart attack or an injury in an automobile accident or any injury at all. As Joe Biden enters his second year in office, the pandemic continues to weigh heavily on the economy. Consumer prices are up 7 percent in that time, the fastest inflation rate since the 1980s. Companies have raised prices due to supply chain problems and also to increase profit margins following massive stimulus packages that have seen more people willing to spend. Mr. President. And in another setback, Joe Biden's voting rights bills have hit a roadblock in the Senate, even as the president made another personal visit to Congress to try to push his agenda through. The biggest overhaul of the electoral system in a generation was a campaign trail pledge made in particular to African-American voters who mostly supported him. The succession of bad news continues to chip away at Biden's credibility and popularity, a recent poll showing his approval rating at just 33 percent.